Right, it's the 3rd of February and it's the middle of the big freeze of 2009 and um, I'm about to go to the football with uh, Richard Hall who has been making a lo whole load of films this year about what it's like to be a disillusioned Walsall fan. Well, I'm coming to this from a slightly different perspective because I am very much a rugby man and this is a picture here on my screen of Otley Rugby Club um, which is where I was on Saturday. And Oh, here we go. This is the Walsall hat that he's given me, and apparently I'm going to have to put that on my head so that I don't get beaten up. And then next weekend, back to the rugby, I'll be travelling up to Scotland with this fella and that flask there to go and watch the start of the Six Nations and watch Scotland against Wales. So it's all a bit too much excitement all at once. Look. With the scene of glory later on. <laughs> We've already been past Birmingham City, Aston Villa and the Beskett Stadium as was now the Banks is I'm supposed to say and and the lane more importantly and the fire lane. lanes we've been past four football clubs already so we're in quite a football intensive um, bit of the country area what, what effect do you think having that number of big clubs near Walsall has on uh, on you and on on the supporters as a whole um, I think it gives it gives the club and it gives the fans a bit of a get out of jail free card for, for, for talking about why our attendances are so poor and it enables them to sort of effectively um, get around the fact that, that there isn't enough community work that goes on. We almost pride ourselves on that little brother um, identity that we have. Do you think that football supporters identify themselves with who they're not and who their rivals are and who they're against as yeah. much as who they are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you go, if you go to, if, if I always get the feeling that if Villa or Blues spend a little less time slagging each other off and a little bit more time getting behind their own teams, then um, they kinda they kinda win more or you know, there'd be a goal up before they started given the size of crowds they get. Their identity is solely framed by who they hate rather than who they are. And you've used the word hate twice there. Do you think it's really that strong? Yeah. Yeah. And are you you're smiling a bit as well. Do you quite like that tribalism no. or No, I mean, actually the older I get the more I dislike it to be honest. So it doesn't make the world a better place, does it? But then, having said that, I do love it if we come back from kind of two 0 down to three two up, and, you're, and you, you know, and you're kind of you're not singing anymore. I kind of love that in the sense of the moment, but I don't carry that as part of my identity for for, for kind of years on end. Is that part of the tribalism that you perhaps dislike, or oh, I hate it. I like hate a, that. do you think rugby supporters are too pally with each other and don't care enough? Yes. The number one thing for you about Warsaw so far? Bus station. Why? Definitely the most impressive, architecturally, the most impressive bus station that I've ever seen. And innovative and exciting and different. That is, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, that's perhaps an overstatement, but because, it is a bit. Because? We're sitting in, in a bar called the, um, the Black Country Arms, I believe, which feels like a kind of a city, town centre, Yates's style affair, and yet, there's about 12 real ales along the bar, and surely that should be all full of Stara Praman and pretentious lagers. It's, it's, I'm a bit confused, I'm a bit bowled over, not sideways by Walsall so far. I don't know quite what to make of it all. You said it before in the pub when we first arrived that you've not worn any Leicester City scarves or hats or any colours. No chance, no chance. Why is that? Um, I kind of have this as a, as a football fan, having been to a number of away games over the years, um, avoiding the rivalry, not wanting to draw attention to yourself as a football fan. Um, so not wearing, going out of our way almost not to wear any colours until we get into the ground because you're worried about the reaction. It's not that you wouldn't want to talk to other people about about football, about you know Walsall fans tonight, as we're doing here. But I wouldn't want to draw attention to myself. So there's the, the, there's almost that segregation is, is pushed into you. So therefore, that's how you have to react. I, I play football as a kid, so I didn't really play rugby. So that's what where it came to me immediately. But when I went to my first games when I was a kid, um, I went as a nine-year-old to Twickenham to watch to watch Tigers play Bristol. So the, I, I, I've I've always had interest in Leicester sport across across the board but my I think it's because I played football a lot when I was a kid um, but having gone to many many more football matches than rugby matches and cricket matches I do find it more passionate we want to see Leicester sport do well uh, uh, there's no way back in this one no way back they're the best team in this division by a mile right no disgrace in losing to Leicester so you're not you're not too bothered you're not upset angry annoyed 
resigned to defeat, I'm afraid. It's too much to hope for for two good games. You've seen the Sadlers beat Leeds and that, that's probably more than you could have hoped for from a yeah. year when you're only seeing a couple of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Well, as a, as a rugby supporter, it's a much more of a spectacle, it's a much more lively and exciting and a much bigger, bigger occasion than a rugby match. And there's a lot, it's a lot more intense. But it's still a bit one-dimensional for me. I think Leicester might rattle in another couple of goals in the next half. Oh, yeah, dear, oh dear. It's, uh, well, it's men against boys, really. They're, they're just so much better than us. I've never seen anything like it. Suddenly, we have all too often. <laughs> they were uh, bigger than the ball, worked it around better. They got better movement than us. We were very static. Even when we got the ball, we didn't keep it. So, not, a, not an unsurprising scoreline, really. And uh, will you be back to see Walsall again before the end of the season, do you think? No, don't think so. No reason to? No, not while uh, Bonds are still there. Whilst I can buy the argument, I can see the argument that people would want to go back to support the team. Actually, it's about the club for me, and the club's, the club's going nowhere under Bonsa. So it's been about the people as yeah, much yeah, yeah. as the game. It'll be better if, um, if, if uh, Matt and uh, his dad get here so we can get out of the cold. That'll yes, be even better. Yes, indeed.